Welcome to Nicholas LMX12. Today I'm doing a quick but certainly interesting comparison with four different IPS monitors, a viewing angle showdown. What I specifically want to test here today is if a premium IPS screen really does perform better compared to more affordable models, also featuring an IPS panel. I'll only be judging the viewing angles, nothing else, even though color accuracy would be an interesting topic as well, but it's very hard demonstrating that to you guys when you're not sitting in front of the monitors in person. So, for monitors, for the premium one I'm going with the ASO EV2750 27 inch as well as with the EV2455 24one inch. They currently come in at 870 and 450 US dollars respectively. For the more affordable models now a bit dated already, but no real difference yet compared to cheap IPS monitors in 2016, the Dell U2312 HM23 inch, that one came in at about $190 and the LG IPS PS 234V 23 inch at about $170. First, let's check what the manufacturers themselves promise in terms of viewing angles. ASO EV2750, 178 degrees, both horizontal and vertical. ASO EV2455, 178 degrees too. Dell U2312HM, also 178 degrees. LG IPS 234V, 178 degrees as well. So clearly there doesn't seem to be a difference spec-wise. But practically let's find out whether there is one or not. Let's start off with the most expensive one of the four, the ASO EV2750. Very good viewing angles, that's what I can tell you right off the bat. We'd expect that at that premium price. Now what about the ASO EV2455? Just as good as the EV2750 very well. The more affordable Dell U2312HM performs well too, and guess what? The viewing angles appear to be just as good as the ones on the two premium ASUS screens. The last one, the most affordable one, the LG IPS234V, also doesn't fall back behind and keeps up fantastically. So the conclusion is simple and short. Generally, whether we're looking at expensive premium monitors or more affordable ones, as long as they feature an IPS panel, we can expect good viewing angles. I'm not sure if that applies to every case since such a statement could be a bit vague when just testing for monitors. However, there's a big chance IPS remains IPS when it comes to viewing angles. Color reproduction and accuracy is a whole, whole different story. An incomparable difference, but that's not the point of this video. We just have to keep in mind, for those of us that care about color accuracy, to not go for a monitor equipped with a TN panel. TN isn't just a letdown in terms of color reproduction, but also viewing angles. More expensive models do tend to perform better at least. But yeah, we've just been testing IPS panels here today. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this quick comparison video. Thanks for watching, don't forget to subscribe and visit my website to sometimes see videos there earlier.